In September, I wrote my entry to practice exam with the College of Kinesiologists of Ontario. After months of studying and preparing for that exam, I was recently informed that, are you ready? I've passed my exam. I'm sure you saw that coming. I mean, I'm not gonna make a video about the exam I just failed. Anyway, what does that mean for me? How can I help you now that I haven't been able to help you before? Kinesiologist? Is that just a fancy name for a personal trainer? Dwight, you ignorance! Everything will be answered in this video today. So let's get right into it. Hi everyone, my name is Lin. I am a certified exercise physiologist and soon to be registered kinesiologist. So first and foremost, what is kinesiology? Theoretically, kinesiology is the science of human movement and it involves in physiology, anatomy, biomechanics, and ergonomics of the human body. Now, here's the story. Let's say you, Christina Aguilera, have arthritis and osteoporosis. And because of that, you have problems walking down a slope or stairs, and you have come to me to help you cope with that current problem. So what I can now identify is your current walking gait and seeing whether your body is compensating to avoiding the pain and prevent you from having musculoskeletal issues in the future. And to do that, we'll slowly adjusting your habits through properly structured movement exercises to strengthen and improve endurance of that specific region. Now, if I work in the clinic, I will be able to collaborate with your physio or chiro in order to identify the best course of treatment for your current problem. Now let's break that story down. As a personal trainer, I won't be able to work with someone who is not apparently healthy and both because of limitation in knowledge and legality. A personal trainer will have basic anatomy and fitness training knowledge because they will have to go through a course of two to three months to, in order to get that certification. So this will make them a great person to assist in weight loss and gain muscle mass and strength. While an Arkin is certified to work with everyone from able-bodied healthy individuals to people who have chronic conditions or illnesses. Now an Arkin is also able to collaborate with other health professionals like doctors, chiropractors, and physiotherapists. So what leads to that main difference? So an Arkin will need to have at least a four years university bachelor's degree and also have to pass the entry to practice exam as well in order to match the standard of a health profession. And that's the reason why personal trainers won't be able to work with Mrs. Aguilera while an Arkin can work with a variety of people, including Christina. So another big question is, what is the main difference between physiotherapists and a registered kinesiologist? So a physio required to complete additional two years of education in university to complete their master's degree in physiotherapy and write their regulatory exam. The main difference on what a physio can do and what an Arkin cannot do is joint mobilization, soft tissue mobilization, manual manipulation on joints, ligaments, and muscles to aid with your rehabilitation. Physiotherapists and Arkin usually work together in a healthcare team in order to create a best treatment option for their patients. So to sum it up, a registered kinesiologist is someone who assess and prescribe exercises in order to help you move better as well as managing your current chronic conditions. So now, the final big question is, will my insurance cover kinesiology? So yes and no. Unfortunately, kinesiology is not covered by OHIP, which is the Ontario Health Insurance Plan. But first, some extended health insurance packages do cover kinesiology. So make sure ask your employer to see if you're covered. And second, if you are in Ontario and Ontario only, you can deduct the services of registered kinesiologists as a medical expense on line 330 for yourself and 331 for other dependents in your family. So you know what that means, right? That means you can build a healthier and stronger body through exercise and get it deducted from your tax. So make sure to ask your personal trainer right now to see if he or she is registered kinesiologist. And if they are, their fees and charges will be eligible for tax return. All right, so that's all for the video for today. If you do have any questions or concerns about this newly regulated profession, leave the comments down below. And I'll see you next time on 21 Daily.